this Villa side just about picks itself these days on the strength of seven wins in a row. But Kim McNaught had to limp out of last week's game at Sunderland. His injury has responded to treatment, so Villa are unchanged. McNaught's partnership in defence with Alan Evans has been just as valuable to Villa's drive for the championship as the joint haul of 27 First Division goals provided by the attacking partnership of Shaw and Weir. Manager Dave Sexton is under a lot of pressure at Old Trafford, but he too makes no change as he invites this side to end a run of five games without a goal and just one point from a scoreless home draw with Spurs. Badly messed about with injuries, United have used 23 players already this season, and Alberston and Koppel are the only men to have played in every match. Few of today's United players will remember seeing Jimmy Rimmer in their side. The Villa keeper is one of the best in Britain now, having made his final appearance for United eight years ago at Southampton. The little Lou Macari was in that winning side, and the wee man currently holds a distinction he dearly loved to lose. Macari is the last man to score for United. That was five games and five minutes ago in a home win over Birmingham City. The referee, Mr. Darrell Reeves of Uxbridge, gets us away. Aston Villa, claret and blue jerseys, white shorts, attacking the goal to our right. Manchester United changing into a white jersey uniform this afternoon. Well, that was a poor attempt at a back pass from McElroy. Now it's Bremner for Villa getting tight into the corner. Villa with a lot of support here, of course. Mortimer. First shot on target. for with Mortimer touch then for Bremner here's Cowens Morley gets his first touch of the game Macari up Mortimer knocks it down for Cowens Oof. that was a whack then from behind Lou Macari free kick just outside the box about what three strides four strides An area that we can look for Maybe somebody to have a direct poke at goal. Mortimer and Cowens discussing what's to be done here. Gary Bailey wants four solidly in the wall. Protecting his right-hand post. And Cowens tries the shot. Touch from Mortimer. Cowens delayed. Just a tiny touch, and Cowan's shot, just sneaking past the post. Swain. Touch from within, it's a good one for Mortimer. Off to Morley. Lining up on the back post, he tries the drive. And Bailey had it, lost it. Fine attempt then. Fine attempt from Tony Morley. Certainly surprised Bailey. They were expecting a ball across the box, but he tries a first timer. Bailey got it, lost it, and was lucky that one of his own men, Alberston, was there to hack it away. United, who've had a fairly good record in first division matches here in recent years. I'm going to go back to 77 78 since they last lost here. Certainly would be a turn up for the book if they pulled off a shock result this afternoon. On current form, that is. Here goes Mortimer. Williams. Cowens has called for it. And Swain starts to break on the right. Going against Alveston, looking for the cross. It's a good one. With goal. Beautiful. One nothing. Well, Peter Wythe really made that look easy, and that was not. Kenny Swain, this break on the outside, races past Alberson, a perfectly flighted ball. And look at the way that Peter Wythe picked his spot just wide of Bailey's stretching right hand. Lovely goal, Peter Wythe. Aston Villa, one of them. Buckin, another one who was out of action for a tremendous time after that rough, tough game in uh, Poland against Witzloys. Bertels, and now it's Alberston. 
Kari got a touch. Jordan challenging. McElroy tried to turn it back, but only as far as Cowens, in fact. And now Morley comes for Aston Villa. Nicol policing him. Mortimer infield calling for it. And Swain wanting it on this side. Now, is he going to have another run and delivery? He's going against Alberston. The chip in, and Shaw, surely. Well, Shaw had to be offside, surely. There was no flag. So we can just put that down as a total miss by Gary Shaw. But once again, look at this fellow Swain setting up the chances. Trickles that through. There's Gary Shaw. Had to be offside, surely, but no. And he missed. Swain breaking in the middle of the park. Way across to Morley. Morley attacking Nicol. Corner given. Morley was expecting a free kick. At least he got something out of it. Nickel figures it's a goal kick. So we've got Morley, number 11. And Cowens is lurking over in that area as well. Chips it straight in. Win. Oh, what a goal! How did he manage to turn 180 degrees and pop that one in? Peter with is second of the game. 2-0 Aston Villa. And it's all down to the big fella. They didn't get the ball clear, but look at the turn he gets there. Beautiful goal from Peter Weir. 2-0 Aston Villa. McElroy for Makari. That's a good-looking cross. Jordan. Cross across to Koppel. And again. Unlucky for Steve Koppel. Two bites of that cherry, and neither of them counted for him. There's the first cross in, and he tries a shot. There's the second one, but he couldn't do anything. Meanwhile, Villa charging back with Mortimer. Shaw with... Oh. And still the pressure on. Cowens feeds Morley. Little touch along the ground. Oh. And that did take a little deflection away from Bailey. And he was on his hands and knees and not too sure what was going on. Morley. Well, I think Bailey must have got his fingers to it. So here's the corner. And Cowens floats it across and Shaw's up. England under 21 striker. Saved by the England under 21 goalkeeper. Cowens is with Morley. He can do it again. In fact, he knocks it back to Williams. Williams did well. Very well indeed. Space for Morley now. And here's Bremner. Chip back across. And Wilkins saves the day, gets it to Bertels. And Wilkins again, on for Jordan. A lone figure up front. Stopped by Evans, of course. Bertels. With Jordan. Bertels. Jordan, and that really sold Wilkins in a lot of trouble. Gave Mortimer an easy bite of the ball. Now, Koppel. Goal kick. Koppel running it over the line under the challenge of Tony Morley. We haven't had the trainer on, so there can't be any real hold up. Swain a chance, but uh, referee Reeves points to the tunnel. And Villa fans rise to applaud their team off the park. And particularly, they'll be looking for the number nine, Peter Wirth. Two goal scorer, Peter Wirth, that puts Aston Villa right in the boss seat here against Manchester United.
sends Villa off for a half-time cup of tea. For the scoreline that reads Aston Villa 2, Manchester United 0. So we're away in the second half. Manchester United attacking the goal in which Aston Villa have scored twice. United six consecutive away defeats uh, gonna be lucky if they get anything out of this game now Aston Villa very much in the boss seat that's Alberston fouled free kick and McElroy will take the corner at the free kick almost as good as a corner it's a corner now, that came off McNaught. And United supporters down that end of the ground. Encouraging their side as much as they possibly can. McElroy with the corner. Macari a touch. Will come to Koffel. Good cross, far post, and there's McElroy. And there's the goal from Joe Jordan. It's 2-1. And the United fans have absolutely risen up out of their seats for that one. They really got a close-up view of it. So that travel down was worthwhile. Koppel then, a lovely bit of football, knocks it far post. And we look for McElroy to get the touch on the far post. And then Jordan, his marker not near him, a touch from Rimmer and a gift for Jordan. Ron Saunders, the Villa manager, down on the bench there. No flicker of sign in his face as to the thoughts going through his mind. Alberston clears. Swain heads forward to Bremner. That's Bertels down for Wilkins. Ship ball to Jordan. Aim for Koppel. Morley, a touch back to Williams. Williams could be in a bit of bother here. Preventing the quick throw in taken by, to be taken by Koppel. So the ball down to Nickel. Jordan, a touch off to McElroy. Good cross in. Fine try, too. Little then Macari very nearly sneaked in. McElroy did well to get that cross in. Macari hurling himself there. Didn't get enough pace on the ball to beat Rimmer. It's Dave Sexton over in the left of the group as we look at. United manager. That's Khan. Oh, what a fine try by Cowens. Good reaction save by Gary Bailey. Two young players with razor-sharp reflexes. Cowens the first-timer. Bailey really went across to claw that out of the air. It's Williams. Cowens a touch-off in the direction of Bremner. With Cowens. For Williams, Morley hanging on this left touch line. Williams has gone past him. Foul called against Nickel. Morley takes the free kick as far as Williams. Now Mortimer. Williams again. Off to Morley. Well, Koppel delayed him, held him up. Happy enough to give the corner away. Morley. Looking out across to with. No, it was Jordan who got there. Now it's McNaught. Bremner. 
Mortimer, first time shot, and this bumpy, sanded pitch stuck the ball up just as he was teeing himself up for the shot. United come again through Koppel. Got Nickel in support. Koppel goes again for that return ball. Cowens trying to close Koppel down. Free kick. Little nick at Koppel's ankles. Now Cowens. And Koppel goes to take the free kick. Jordan ready to come in from the back post. There's Jordan. Dropping ball, and uh, he couldn't really get a straight run at it. He started to run, then he stopped, and in fact the ball drops to him rather than he meeting it forcefully with his head. plays it Moran being impeded by with Nickel quickly on to Bertles back to Koppel on to Wilkins and now Koppel again getting to the line looking for the cross it's a good one Jordan oh fine goal Joe Jordan equaliser as good a goal as Joe Jordan has scored ever I would suspect and once again that man Steve Koppel set it up England International gets to the line gets in behind Aston Villa here he comes now little jink to the line look at the power of Joe Jordan as he came in on this one bang 2-2 so the two number nines have scored the goals that are up on that board Peter with two for Villa now Joe Jordan has scored his second for Manchester United Here's Alvaston. And now McElroy. And there's no doubt that Manchester United are beginning to worry this Villa side. That's Cowens. Now Morley. Morley running at Nicol. He's got Koppel there in support. Looking for Peter Wynn. Right into the hands of Bailey. Bailey well positioned as Wynn came in behind Bucken. Right on his near post. And Villa come again through Mortimer. This one in for Shaw. Oh, and that just hung in the air. 3-2, Gary Shaw puts Miller in front. Just got a little toe end to it. And that tantalisingly hung away from Bailey. There's Shaw, and it seemed to hang there, and Bailey just couldn't make it. Well, what a fine way to hit back within, what, a minute, two minutes of Jordan scoring. This man, Gary Shaw, losing in the air then to Moran. Puts Villa back into the boss seat again. Bucket hits that long. Here's Alan Evans. Coming out hard and strong. With asking for it inside, but Evans choosing to go alone down the line. And Evans is still there, and they're looking for the cross in. And it's Gary Shaw setting it up for win. Well, this is really becoming quite some game. Alan Evans. Evans knocking, knocking it across the box. Shaw trying to set it up for Peter with the first time shot just wide. That's with down for Bremner. Taking on Alberston and running him. And getting the cross in, and Shaw! Across the face of the goals, Morley to knock it in again. Looks useful. Shaw. Knocked out by Bucket. Corner.
Shaw to take the corner quickly then for Currens. To Shaw again. Across the face of the goals and a shot from McNaught. Pushed away by Bailey. He must have seen that desperately late. Fine effort by big Ken McNaught. Would have been looking for his first goal of the season, in fact. Jordan helps that on. McNaught heads clear. That'll drop down to Koppel. And Bertels gives United fresh hope. Touchdown to Koppel. And again, Koppel trying to get there. And he's pointed to the penalty spot, has referee Reeves. And United have the chance to draw level. No hesitation by referee Reeves. Well, let's have a look at it again as the ball comes into Koppel. He goes in there. And it's here that Williams is a judge to a foul. So, looks like Sammy McElroy for 3-3. The tension you could cut this with a knife. Referee Reeves still not sure everybody's outside the penalty box. McElroy. 3 3 it is. Well, that's unbelievable. Without any goals at all for so long. And now they scored three. There's the third one from Sammy McElroy. At the other end of the field, Old Trafford fans are up on their feet and roaring for a side that has given Dave Sexton one of the biggest boosts of his life, I suspect. Aston Villa, who looked as though they had it won, 2 nothing at half-time, with Peter Wood's two goals, Joe Jordan striking back early in the second half to level it at 2-2, Gary Shaw putting Villa in front, and then McElroy from the penalty spot in the dying stages of the game. So we've got 3-3 here, just as it was up at Old Trafford earlier this season, and Aston Villa have dropped a vital point in their chase for the championship.